Hello and welcome to this Open TX Quick Tip. Now, the detail that I'm going to go through here is nothing new. I've actually covered it a lot already in the Open TX Mix School. So if you're interested in knowing some of the tips and tricks and even some of the basics, then go and check out that playlist. I'll put a link in the description. It starts very simply and builds on very simple principles and gets in some quite complicated stuff towards the end. Now, this is to help a chap called Martin out. Now, Martin has a vector powered aircraft and he wants the ability to pull an OD switch and for that OD switch to then override some of the other settings for things like the mode channel. Now, that's a relatively easy thing to do. And actually, there's probably five, maybe six ways I can think off the top of my head that you can make it happen. But I'm going to show you one of the easiest. So I've got one of my own models set here. This is for my uh, one of my own vector based uh, fixed wing models. Uh, and again, I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in uh, in the vector series that I've done. Uh, the vector and the mini vector are fantastic flight controllers and amazing in fixed wing. Now this, if we look in here, the way it works is in the mixes channel we have uh, throttle aileron elevator rudder and then we have a mode sub mode and gain channel set now these are set to individual channels sd sa and s1 so if i just simulate that on the radio let's just move these things around so you can see them so sd if i click page to show you the channel values sd there it is controlling that particular channel here you can also see it on the right hand side there are my modes and then we have sa for the weight so there's sa moving and s1 you can see that moving is controlling the gain now what martin is after is the ability to pull the momentary switch so sh at the moment does nothing we probably want to change the position of channel five which is the moment is controlled by this sd switch so let me show you how to do that really easy easiest way to do this is to go into special functions uh, now i've got things in here that actually uh, disable the throttle but we can set another one up. Now we need to just make sure, so it's SH that we're after. We need to set the switch for SH in that position. And then when it's in that position, we want it to override channel five, which is the mode channel with whatever value we want. Now remember in OpenTX, it goes from minus 100 is the minimum channel position. Zero is the mid channel and plus 100 is the maximum so let's make it plus 100 enable it and simulate so now even though we don't have anything extra in the uh, mixes area so nothing's changed in here we literally just have this one little extra line if we go and simulate it now what happens is as soon as i pull sh which is the od switch watch what happens to channel five now the issue is of course as soon as i let go of sh then it will drop back down but even no matter what the other modes are, we can pull SH and it will override that. And that is probably going to be your return to home mode that you'll set for whatever that is. If you want it the other way around and you wanted it to set it, I don't know, for minimum channel value, then we can do that as well. So maybe we're flying around and we're flying uh, at that kind of position. Then pulling SH will immediately pull channel 5 down to that lowest position. Now, again, that's only because we're using a momentary switch. If you were going to use it so that it stayed in that position, we could use SF. So maybe if we change that to SF in the front position, there we go, simulate it. So now this doesn't do anything. SF is our OD switch in this example. So I could be flying whatever I want and then uh, maybe we're flying like that and then SF gets pulled, bang we initiate the return to home. And what you do is you'd set up whatever this value was in the vector software for the return to home. So hopefully that helps you, Martin. And for those of you that have been following along, it's really straightforward. Again, we could add another thing here for exactly the same switch, and we could add SF uh, overriding another channel with another value um, just arbitrarily just to change things as well and that's how you can have one switch do lots of different things 
Again, this is a very simple way to do it. There's lots of other quite cool ways as well. I'd heartily recommend go and check out the OpenTX Mix School. Again, it starts with very simple principles and builds up. And after watching that, you'll be an OpenTX Jedi Master. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.